Let's talk about circular references in Excel. A circular reference is when you have a formula on Excel that loops back on itself so there's no result. You generate one result and then the next cell takes that result and feeds it back into the same formula. So if you try to solve it, it's going to be an endless loop. You jump from one cell to the other one. To solve that second cell, you have to jump back to the first one. To solve the first one, you have to jump to the second one, and so on. Excel needs to arrive at a final result for any operation it does in a formula. Anything you say in a formula has to have a beginning and an end. It's a process where Excel takes a value, adds something to it, or does something to it, and there. It's done. That's the end of the process. When you have a circular reference, it turns out that Excel can't reach the end of a process because it's always doubling back on itself. And that's what a circular reference is, and it generates an error in Excel. It's a common error that you see a lot of times when you're just starting out and trying to do formulas, or when you're doing really complex spreadsheets, you can end up with circular references. Let me give you an example of a circular reference. For example, I have this cell here, C7, which says that the result of this cell is D5 plus 5. Okay, and now I jump to this other cell, which says that the result is C5 plus 5. Here I'm on row 7, but let's make believe that this is row 5, you know, just for argument's sake. Okay, so when I try to solve this one, let's say that this one has a value currently of 1. Okay, and this one has a value of 2. Okay, what's Excel going to do? Excel is going to step into this first cell and it's going to say the first value is D5 plus 5. And what's the value of D5? Okay, the value is 2. So 2 plus 5 is 7. That's the first part of solving the problem. Then Excel moves to this next cell. Okay, and what does it say? It says this cell is C5 plus 5. So it's this one plus 5. Okay, but when it explores and says, okay, what's the value of C, it finds that it's the value of D plus 5. So that's where your loop starts out. You see, you start here, and you have to take the result from here to finish the result of this first cell. But then when you jump to the second one, you require the result of the first one, which requires the result of the second one. Okay, remember that here we need the result from the second cell. So this one, we need the result from the first cell, which needs the result from the second cell, which needs the result from the first cell, and so on. You have a loop between these two, and Excel simply starts jumping back and forth, back and forth, until it finally figures out that it's in a circular reference, and it's an error, and you get an error message. Let's try this out. I'm going to show you a circular reference in real life here. I'm going to say... It's equal to D9 plus 5. And right here, I'm going to reference this cell, C9 plus 5. That's going to generate an endless loop, and watch what happens. See, you get a circular error in from Excel. It says there's one or more circular references where a formula references its own cell, directly or indirectly. Okay? And you get this little arrow right here. Now, if you can't find this little arrow, it's normally located here in formulas where it says formula auditing and you have to activate this trace precedence, trace dependence, similar to that. What this arrow is saying is that these two cells, this one here and this one here, where the arrow starts and ends, are in a circular reference and you can't solve them. Now it looks like they've been solved, they have a value in them, but Excel is actually not calculating them. It's ignoring these two cells because there's an error in between. So this arrow is really interesting, and it's a really good tool to figure out where your circular reference is starting out and where it's ending. Now what we should do here, if we wanted that calculated, we should actually do E9 plus 5, and that means there should be no circular reference now. See? Just like that. I said D9 plus 5, and D9 is E9 plus 5, which is 0 plus 5, which is 5. And 5 feeds into this one. And there's no circular reference because that's where the process ends. So that's a circular reference in Excel, a formula that doubles back on itself and can't be solved. And whenever you find a circular reference, remember to look for the blue arrow. 
and that'll tell you what cells are being affected and it'll let you trace where your mistake is. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.